In this video, we will discuss the neuroretinal rim and the optic cup. They are normal and abnormal features in the size of the optic disc and neuroretinal rim. The optic nerve head optic disc contains a cup, a central circle and a neuroretinal rim, another circle outside the cup. So what's the difference between a rim and a cup? The neuroretinal rim has the axons of the retinal ganglion cell layers, whereas cup does not have any visual receptors. Where neuroretinal rim is widest? In descending order, it's widest in the inferior rim and then the superior rim and then the nasal and narrowest is at the temporal ring. This is the normal pattern of the width of the rim. How about the size of the cup? The size of the cup depends on the size of the disc. The vertical size of the disc varies from 1.5 to 2.5 millimeters. Larger the disc, larger the cup size. A smaller the disc, a smaller the cup size. A 0.7 ratio in the large optic disc may be normal, whereas a 0.3 ratio in a very small disc can be pathologic. So what are the causes of a large disc size? Number one, age. Disc size increases slightly with age. Number two, race. Black individuals on the average have larger discs and larger cup, so more CD ratio. Number three, high myopic eye is large and has larger discs and large cup. Number four, familial. Large physiologic cup may be familial trait. Examination of other family members may clarify whether a large cup is inherited or or acquired. Disc swelling may be unilateral or a bilateral. So what's the difference between a unilateral optic disc swelling and a bilateral? A bilateral optic disc swelling due to increased intracranial pressure is papilledema. That's the difference between a papilledema and a unilateral optic disc. Whereas a unilateral optic disc swelling due to increased intraocular pressure. So what's the difference between an enlarged physiologic cup and an enlarged glaucoma cup. In physiologic cupping, a large cup remains stable for years, whereas in glaucoma, it enlarges relentlessly. CD ratio in enlarging cup and increase intraocular pressure are important vital features of glaucoma. How to differentiate between a large physiologic cup and an enlarged cup? Number one, enlargement should be compared with the previous photographs of the cup if available. Number two, compare the disc with the fellow eye disc. Normally, the disc asymmetry is unusual. Number three, nasalization of the central retinal artery and central retinal vein as a cup enlarges. Number four, notching. And what's notching? Local invasion of the cup into the neuroretinal rim. That leads to the thinning and narrowing of the rim. Number five, hemorrhages. Superficial splinter hemorrhages and repeated episodes of optic disc hemorrhages, especially in normal tension glaucoma, leads to notching of the rib and visual field loss. Optic disc hemorrhage is an important prognostic sign for the development or progression of visual field loss. What are the causes of splinter hemorrhages? It may be due to posterior vitreous detachment, diabetes, retinal vein branch occlusion, and anticoagulant therapy. And number six, there may be vessel overpass, which look like a bridge, but are not in contact with the underlying tissues. So what are the features in glaucoma? In glaucoma, the cup size is increased, the rim size is decreased. There is increase in CD ratio and there is notching of the rib. The cup becomes pale and there is a peripheral atrophy. And what perimetric exam shows in glaucoma? It shows arcuate scotomas which have horizontal baseline end. Glaucoma results in increased cupping and pallor within the cup but no pallor of the rim tissue. Rim pallor occurs only in lateral geniculate body lesions. Now features of abnormal neuroretinal rim. It may become thin, there is focal atrophy, pallor and notching. What's notching? Local invasion of the cup into the neuroretinal limb leads to the thinning and narrowing of the rim. Focal atrophy most typically occurs at the inferior and superior temporal poles of the optic nerve in early glucomatous optic neuropathy. With progressive optic neuropathy, the nerve fiber layer thins and become less visible. Loss may be generalized or localized. As the nerve fiber loss 
continuous cup enlarges. The blood vessel overlying the collapsed neuroretinal tissue looks like a highway overpass but not in contact with the underlying tissues. With advanced damage, the cup becomes pale and markedly excavated. Due to causes of non-glucomatous optic atrophy, neuroretinal rim tissue becomes pale. Conditions that decrease the blood supply can lead to optic neuropathy. It may be ischemic, compressive and hereditary optic neuropathy or may be due to tumor, infections and infarction.